This is our second tutorial on op amps, and we begin it by reviewing our basic guidelines as given in class. First, assume there is no saturation in the exercise. If we detect it, then we proceed as we shall see in some of the exercises. Secondly, check to see if there is negative feedback. And third, as we saw in class, never Never write a KCL equation for the output node of any op amp. Let's begin. We begin by identifying the nodes in this circuit. Let's call this node 1. And this node 2. Any other? This, but this one is the output node, and we have been warned never to write a KCL equation for that node, so I will not give it a name. Well, how many unknowns do we have here? We have V1, V2, and V0. But we can write only two KCL equations, one here and one there. We are warned not to write a KCL equation for the output node, so we are short by one equation. What equation would that be? Well, the negative feedback equation, if there is negative feedback. So we ask ourselves, is there negative feedback? Indeed, the output node is connected through a series of passive elements to the inverting input of the amplifier. There is negative feedback, so we can write a negative feedback equation. And that's what I'm about to do, the negative feedback equation. Negative feedback equation says Vn equal to Vp. But Vp is V of the reference, which is 0 volts. So the negative feedback equation is V1 is 0. We have a virtual ground in this node 1. But before writing the KCL equations for node 1 and 2, specify the assumed directions for the currents in each one of the branches. In each one of them. I'm assuming they flow like this. This is arbitrary. And uh, let's write KCL for node 1. KCL for node 1. Currents that go in 2 minus V1 over 10. 2 minus V1 over 10 equal to this current which is 0 amps because this is an ideal amplifier 0 plus the current on the top which is V1 minus V2 over 20 KCL for node number 2 KCL for node number 2 is current going in V1 minus V2 over 20 And that is equal to currents coming out of the node, which are this one, V2 over 5, and this other one, V2 minus V0 over 4. We have three equations and three unknowns, V1, V2, and V0. Of course, making the substitution V1 is 0 is simple in here. So we need to enter only two equations with V1 replaced by a 0. In here we have the system of two equations, KCL1 and KCL2, with a substitution of V1 equal to 0. We are asking to solve for V2 and V0, the two unknowns. We go to the symbolic solver and ask for a linear system of equation solution, this one. Click. The solutions are V2 is negative 4 volts, and V0, the output voltage, is negative 8 volts. Let's write them down. V0 is negative 8 volts and V2 up here is negative 4 volts. So one of the questions has been answered. What is the output voltage of this circuit? But we were also asked, what is the output current of the op-amp I0? What is it? Well, to find that, we will use a Gauss surface around this uh, node, around this Gauss surface over here. For that, we will need 
this current and that current to compute what is I naught. This current on the top is V2 minus V naught over 4 ohms. So that current is V2 negative 4 minus V naught, which is minus minus 8 volts, divided by 4 ohms. That is 1 amp. And the current at the bottom, going down, V naught, divided by 8. And that is negative 8 divided by 8. That is negative 1 amp. So we can write a KCL equation around this Gauss surface. Currents going in, I naught, and 1 amp. These two currents coming out, negative 1 amp. Evidently, I naught is negative 2 amps. That is a current in that op amp, negative 2 amps. The output power of the amplifier would be this current times this voltage. So the output power of the amplifier would be negative 8 volts, negative 8 volts, that multiplies the current coming out of the op amp, which is negative 2 amps. That is 16 watts. And that's the solution. Thank you very much.